Alright, all things considered, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would have been. Wow, really getting into the heart of Green Earth, huh? Aye, that was a real rough spat. Doesn't this old sea dog deserve some smooth sailing now and again? Drake, listen to me. I'll, about our previous conversation. Ahoy there. It's time. It's time for you to test the waters. Go battle Orange Star forces yourselves and see if my theory holds any water. Wings of Victory. Let's see, of course we gotta read the descriptions. Mountains and misunderstandings stand between Andy and Eagle's forces. Eagle has Max backed into a corner. He'll have to muscle his way to victory. And of course with Sammy. Tensions run high and fog hangs low as Sammy and Eagle face off. Why do you keep bothering us? Answer me! Ah, Sammy. Always a pleasure to see you. Uh. Yeah, well, the feeling isn't mutual. Explain to me right now. Why won't you leave us alone, or I'll stand... Or I'll strand you out here alone without so much as a rowboat or a radio. Uh. It has nothing to do with you, believe me. This concerns Zandy. Bring him out so we can settle this. <laughs> he looks genuinely terrified by her. Absolutely not! I'm in command now, and you're not taking talking to Andy unless you get through me first. Such allegiance is ill-advised, Sammy. You know I won't hold anything back. Alright. A lot of mountains, a lot of forests, and a lot of fog of war. Drop you, ooh. Yeah, we're gonna take care of this right now. Ooh, okay. Well, at least now we know we are. Uh, now we know where all of Eagle's forces are. And unfortunately, because I don't have any bases, I can't really get any reinforcements. It's all just cities between us and Eagles HQ, so we're really gonna have to make do with what forces we have right now. I derive no joy from fighting with Sammy, but she gives me little choice. To disguise! Let's show them the true strength of our flock. His fighters and there's his bomber. There's another fighter squadron up there, so I need to be careful. But I want to 
get ambushed by a tank. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I'm gonna pull you back. I feel like a good strategy would be to just take the transport copter, fly all the way up here, and fly around the bulk of his army. This other fighter. Which means I'm gonna probably guess he's gonna take out my battle copters, but at least now I know where they are. And I can ambush accordingly. I'll move you up here so we can at least attack any ground forces that might try to sneak their way up. shot him down in one hit. Oh, damn. Fighters will try to come to after mine, so I think what I'll do is do this. Keep the fighters safe. I really want to try and keep my transport safe. Hopefully his fighters or his bomber will find to a good spot where my anti-air can also ambush them. Like right there. And I forgot to move the battle copters, damn it. Eh, I kind of felt like they were going to be dead anyways. If that anti-air wasn't going to get them, the fighters definitely would. Turtle you so that way you don't get attacked. Ugh. Even with all that damage, they still did a good uh, number on my units. Oh, he's got a second bomber coming this way. Looks like that might be the only fighter, so if I can take out these fighters, then we basically have his HQ dead to right, so long as he doesn't have anything too serious protecting it. Yes! Have you? 
Have you really? I'm really learning not to like this tactic that the AI uses. It's a viable tactic, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, it's just a very annoying tactic. Damn it, I just realized what he's about to do. And yet you're gonna do it anyways. Lightning drive. Oh, there goes my fighters, and then there goes the transfer. I think we might have just lost this because my strategy just went out the window. Or they're not gonna attack the fighter, huh? Okay, if not attack the fighter, then what the heck are you guys gonna do? Take the bait, take the bait. He is not taking the bait, but he is getting desperate and trying to take on my APC. See what you're trying to do, Eagle. I won't stand for it. So desperate to... Okay, I got an idea. A minor setback, but we should be able to rectify this. Yeah, it, it's still turtled, so it's still safe. God, stop messing around with the missile. Damn it. Another one? We're 
would be a spot. It's not really a, a good spot where he won't attack the fight. Actually, no, there is. Right here. We might have to redo this mission, folks. Alright, if I'm going down, I'm going down swinging. Surprised Simi didn't have any dialogue uh, for this mission. And then it just gets shot down by the fighters. Uh, if that one fighter squadron could just would stop dancing around my missiles, I and mean, we would have been able to save that. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Go ahead, try it, Eagle. Just try it.
much fuel do you have? You got... I'm guessing you've got, like, maybe two days left. The eagle soars above you. Ah, oh, damn it. I think he's going to take out my rockets with this move. Lightning drive. He's just going to retreat. Okay. I don't know what that accomplished, Eagle, but, but you know what? Okay. I mean, all that did was just end up wasting fuel, so... You must really hate that tank crew in particular. Right, looks clear there. I think all the Eagle has left is his rockets. Yep, there they go. Gonna be oh no oh no 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 He is sure determined to capture that one city in particular. If that's the case, I'm surprised he just didn't try to make a run for the HQ, which means I probably should move my rockets down here just to be safe. Actually, I'll put you right there as a spotter. Oh, hello. City is clear. You got two more shots left, so I think you should have enough to take out the artillery. I'll be able to take care of the infantry capturing the city in the next turn. And hopefully I can start moving my troops through the mountains to take that HQ. Also probably should move you into the forest just in case those rockets come into range because you're at the night and make sure spotter again. No, it doesn't really matter because there's uh, missiles right behind. So far, so clear. Oh, you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you with everything that I am. And everything that I will become.
Nice critical hit. All right. Mountains should be clear, I hope. Actually, move you over here just to provide some long range support. I don't know, I was getting a little nervous with that one. shots do you have? Like, you have one shot left. Well, so far, nobody's attacking. Doesn't make me any less cautious, though. No, I'm, okay. I'll hide in the forest, and then I'll go for the HQ next turn. That is dirty. That is so dirty. I'm got this. Oh wait, no, I still have. I still have my missiles too. I need to make an enticing target, but I think it's a way I can bait. bait that bomber over here, then I might be able to take it out. I'm still concerned as to where those rockets are hiding, because I never took those things out. And who knows where they could be. There they are. Tanks, uh, that's dirty. We were so close to winning this, and then all of a sudden, Eagle just likes to pull a bomber out of the ether. Wow, really? Oh, are they out of striking distance? No? Why did he not attack? Okay, I'm gonna need to play this stupid safe. My missiles are still way away uh, from being useful. I have no idea what's between us and that HQ aside from the bomber. And if I lose that infantry, then we're done for. There it is. In the forest. I 
I think all he has left is that bomber. try this and hopefully that'll entice it to come out of hiding. Nope. Come on, I got a nice juicy rocket truck with your name on it. There you are. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Uh, just barely. He's almost out of fuel, too. So theoretically, I also could wait him out. goes <laughs> oh wait no we're not done well if not the bomber what what else is still waiting for us Forever. I'm just going to go back to the city that we already have. I'm not going to lie. I am very scared right now. Oh! Oh, well, found out what was still there. Probably another bomber. Does Eagle just have an endless supply of bombers up in that corner? Okay, no, he's got missiles. And that might just be what's left to defend his HQ. Now, unfortunately, I can uh, just target him with the rockets. How much fuel do you have? You got 11. Okay, let's just speed up this process. Okay, there we go. Day 39. Day 40. Day 41. Please, no more bomber jump scares. Okay. HQ. Capture. For the love of God, take that HQ. Let's 
somehow, some way, we won this. I am terrified of technique. <laughs> All right, Eagle. I bested you on the battlefield. Now start talking. Very well. I am defeated, and at the very least, I owe you an explanation for my actions. I will tell you about how Andy attacked my homeland, Green Earth. I did what now? The cold look on his face during the assault. His glowing eyes. I'll never forget it. Never. Uh... Eagle, stop. Enough of your lies. Hmm. I wish they were, Sammy. Uh... Look at your accusing. Andy couldn't pull off anything that complicated. You accuse this boy who probably has his hands full just getting dressed each morning. Uh... Uh, what? I know how to dress myself. Hmm. You may be right. This is not the face that shines with intelligence. <laughs> now hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Andy spends the entire day not thinking of things to do. Uh. Well, okay, that might be... <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to imagine Andy pulling off such an assault. <sighs> you guys are mean. Mm. But I'm not entirely convinced. I still suspect you of something. I must discuss this with Drake. And if I find out you're lying to me, Andy... You'll curse the day you were born. Eagle, away! I like to imagine just Eagle running off with his arms Eagle's spread out. Such a bad guy. But boy, is he stubborn. <laughs> just run away, just making airplane sounds.